there's nothing quite like reliving that that glorious uh, Duke Syracuse rivalry. We were very big underdogs, so going in there, we were we were pretty confident because you know playing at home in front of 30,000 people, like that's that's a lot of energy that you're giving, and it's hard speed. I had every expectation of winning that game and the boys did not disappoint. It was really the first time we saw that Syracuse team, that squad, fully developed, and it was, it was a beautiful sight. Yeah, just came back from a, a run, so we definitely had the momentum. Um, I wasn't too worried about it, especially since, again, we're playing at home, so everything's on our side. In most games, you start to see that energy start to wane about halfway through that second, uh, second half. And the fact that they were 100% up until that final buzzer showed that they, they were probably ready. It was so quiet leading up to it. Everybody just wanted them to be focused. Yeah, like. Our minds were blank. All we saw was a ball in the air and praying that it went in. Gillen, got it! Syracuse win! Are you serious? And when it did, the entire university erupted. I stepped up on the bleachers and watched as just a wave <laughs> of orange yeah. came down and erupted onto the uh, onto the floor, and it was it was beautiful. Seeing it, seeing the uh, the rush of the court from the top, it was, was a nasty scene. Amazing. It was like everybody was standing up, and I couldn't see anything, so I had to stand on top of the bleachers. As soon as I went down, it just erupted. If you didn't rush the court in those first like three rows, you, you probably, probably would have been hurt. trampled. Yeah. yeah. So it was smarter to run onto the court with everybody than yeah. stay where you were. Best live, yeah, live sports experience I've ever had. Yeah, nothing's gonna top that really. Couldn't agree more. Excuse by a million, baby.